The following content is not meant for children. Hello, hello, and welcome back. I am Maester Alix, and this is Fallout 4 Gunner Renegade. And we are right back. We left off here in our vault, trying to uh, get this soda machine working. Let's get you properly okay. dressed. There we go. Of course. Even better. Everyone's in their fatigues. And since we have a little bit of spare electricity, I'm going to go put in a lighting fixture. Power. Lights. There you go. That should work. Glad I'm in here and not out there. Okay. And one other thing we got to do is unhook the power cycle from that. There we go. That produces three. That requires two. That requires one. That requires one. Ah, I see. Let's see. Uh, you. Could you power cycle, please? Okay. Thank you. You'll love it. Chem does. Everyone's tired. We need more beds down here. Okay, I'll fix it in just a bit. We gotta get this other stuff and dealt with. Alright. Set of fountain. Let's see. Generic caffeination. Okay. Mood enhancer or appetite suppressant. Let's see. What's the notes on this one? We've achieved remarkable progress in the synthesizing of a lip lipstitane derivative. True, the side effects are more pronounced, but the efficiency is remarkable. Test subjects over the trial period lost 10% body mass index. There's been an unfortunate loss of productivity. Nope. Not looking for loss of productivity. Mood enhancer, then. Hallucinogen provided us with a small sample of the final product. You know what? I don't need to read any more. I busted my hump getting that. We're going to use it. Okay. I am going to do is hook. The soda fountain's open. Want to be the first customer? Depends. How much does it cost? Oh, it's free. Really? Well, I guess then. All right. Well, you enjoy. Okay, one hour. Ugh, it tastes... <laughs> it tastes funny. <laughs> Make sure to come back! Okay, well... You here to check up? I got a customer right here. You're back! Oh, yeah, this vault's amazing. <laughs> Just great. Wow. Yeah just great it's so great i don't even know what i'm saying <laughs> neither do i that <laughs> well overseer let's see to think we turned the simple soda fountain into something noble oh, it fills me with pride as well it should next prototype yeah. the hippocratic oath a solemn vow to do no harm. Well, roughly, that's what it means. I don't want to get into interpreting dusty Latin textbooks, but that core sentiment of the medical community runs counter to what we're trying to accomplish here. Doctors shouldn't put their patient's welfare first. Instead, their sole focus should be the collective good. You understand, of course. Um, let's stop with the philosophy and get to the job. Of course. So, enter the Voltec Foraptor, a specialized piece of optometrist equipment that, yes, can improve a patient's eyesight, but potentially so much more. The prototype requires a bit, well, a lot. All right, a staggering quantity of radioactive material. But the results will be worth it. All right. I'm excited to be part of this plan. You and me together. The world will quake at what we will accomplish. 
Hopefully, not literally. Don't fret about the nuclear material, by the by. We chose this site for Vault 88 because our surveys indicate that there's a rich source of uranium deeper inside the caves. So I've noticed some. Dig deep and get what we need. All right, we can do that. So how much do I need for the Feropter? Oh, 25. Okay, I have that already. Well, that's easy. That's going to require three more power, so let's go put this here. We'll ditch the uh, that generator and go with a better one. Power. There we go. Generators. There we go. Between that and the power cycle, we should have everything covered. You hooked up to. Well, let's do the lamp because that makes it all in the same network. Everything hook up to that central lamp and we'll be fine. Cool. Oh, right, and Kemp said they wanted beds, so we'll throw down a couple sleeping bags just f to make everyone, you know, habitable. Furniture, beds. we we'll get you all uh, proper sleeping arrangements later. But for now, um, over here by the trains should do quite nicely. There you go, everyone. Beds, be happy. Huh? You should know. People have been complaining a bit about the bed situation. I just fixed it. Glad to help. I'll do well. Promise. Yep. So strange having people about. Yeah, I would imagine after 200 years alone with some other ghouls, it would be a bit different. Yeah. Yes? How you doing, McCready? Yeah, what is it? Hope this helps. Hey, thanks for the ammo. What are your thoughts? I used to live near Vault 87 back in the day. The stories I could tell. Neat. Well, that's it. I'm at me. All right. There Some we go. Some people complain, but not me. I'm just happy to be here. As well, you should. So, bored. so strange having people about. Okay. What do we have to do next? Oh, right, right. Terminal. Huh? Raptor experiment. Subliminal messages, vault monitoring, improve eye care. Notes from Dr. Braun. The challenge I put before you is to find a way to turn a simple eye exam into something that further vault tech's ambitions. The Ferropter is an excellent delivery mechanism because it's infrequent enough and arcane enough that anything slightly irregular occurs, no one would know. I expect great things from each of the teams. Let's see. RD notes. Simple synopsis of the experiment, Ted. Uh, his team made a barrier, a better tool for autonomous everywhere. That's it. Nothing else. Please pro, pro, please process my request and reassign his whole team somewhere far away and cold. Okay, so he actually did improve eye care. Uh, it's a good start. I mean, eye care is important, but let's see. Subliminal messaging. R&D has designated a series of micro-flash images which, when played repeatedly in a loop, have satisfactorily significant positive effects on the test subject's view of, vault of the vault, vault tech, and the overseer specifically. We never quite perf uh, perfected an eye drop formula that was both effective and didn't cause long-lasting eye trauma, but we're still working on that. The lab had further advantages... Uh, the, uh, the lab had further advantages of electroshock and physical restraints, so your mileage may vary in field trials. That yeah, sounds not so great. What's volt monitoring? 
This one team, uh, this one team walrus, don't ask, is very proud of. Dr. Braun, a small MRI specifically designed to fit into the phoropter, was, uh, when fed enough power and imaging, can process the visual information response from stimuli. In layman's terms, it can read a test subject's mind and show an actual picture of what they're thinking about. Oh, that is cool. That's the promise, at least, but the images are very grainy and indistinct. Starting from uh, standard Rorschach tests with hundreds of volunteers, our computers were reliably identified these images with a 71% accuracy. It's still early days, but the promise of getting involuntary glimpses into the population's mind could be a game changer for vault management. I agree. All right. Looks like we have our first patient. Yes. Before we begin, Clem, how do you feel about children? Uh, they're all right, I guess. You ever planning on having any? <laughs> I, I don't know. Why are you asking? Just idle chatter. Go on. Hi, you here for an eye exam with the four... This thing? I guess. Go ahead and get in. Go on, McCready, back off. Let them do their job. All right. Interesting contraption to see. So, what do I do? Just stay still. So I just sit here. Yeah, yeah. The machine will do the rest. This thing's creeping me out. All done. It says you got uh, a minor eye infection. Some eye drops will clear it up. Uh, thanks. And that's it? Nothing else? No, Lady Overseer. Exam's all done. Exercise sucks. Yeah. Yes? How are you doing? Do well. Promise. What the hell is your game? You invite Clem and me in here to experiment on us? You some sort of sicko? There's nothing sinister going on. You're imagining things. Or, uh... Let's see. I have no idea what you're talking yeah, about. right. I heard the stories about vault -Tec. Looks like they were true. At least up in the Commonwealth, everyone's up front about trying to kill you or rip you off. Come on, Clem. Let's leave. These guys are assholes. But I can't! The power cycle! Gotta pedal some more when I'm done here. Run while you can, Clem. Nice. So, one of our residents left. Well, it'll be easy enough to replace her. Yep. The important thing is that our work is progressing admirably. Indeed, indeed. Let's see. So what's the next job? This last experiment is my pride and joy. Following in the footsteps of Dr. Braun and the others, I have spent my time devising my very own prototype. Its premise is this. We are all flawed creatures, each with our own vices. What if our vault didn't pointlessly try to stamp out these predilections and instead harness them? Hmm. Give me the details. The vice in question is greed. The schematic is for a slot machine. I designed it to be as enticing as possible. Choose the experimental parameters and let's see how it fares in the field. Hmm. Okay. We can definitely do that. So what do I need for this gambling machine? Not much of anything. Excellent. We're going to put it right here next to the drinks. You can go right up there, to the central light hub. Oh. Alright, get that terminal. So I just... 
Slot machine experiment. Indentured servitude, customer profiling, lost revenue. Notes from over to your barstow. Glam gambling is alluring by its very nature. Casinos throughout the country have spent millions to further refine its appeal. In an in-depth analysis of techniques involved in Commonwealth psychology today gave me inspiration to use gambling as a positive motivational force in the vault. The big unquestioned answer is, what is the best way to use this device? Options. A. The device could, be manipulate, could manipulate probability to first entice the subject and then later drain them of all financial resources. This would ensure its maximum amount of revenue for the vault. This is the indentured servitude parameter. The machine itself could be a standard game of chance, but the machine is capable of identifying behavior and allowing the overseer to track those with degenerate behavior. This is customer profiling. Or C, if there's time for a control, then probability could be adjusted for maximum returns, i.e. gamblers will win more often than not. Undoubtedly, this would prove popular and expensive, but the lost revenue parameter should only be chosen for A-B testing. Okay, well, um, since none of these were uh, reward with chemicals, I'm going to go with customer profiling. That'll pair well with the Phoropter's mind reading. Except to the parameters. Excellent. Hey, McCready liked that too. Good, good. So, Cam, you gonna come go? You're gonna come gamble? Yeah, I knew you would. All right. All this peddling. There's a point to it, right? Yeah. All right, Cam. You go enjoy yourself for the next hour. There we go. My luck's gonna turn around. Marvelous. Let's check in with Clem. Oh. Sure. Hi. Is the slot machine supposed to flash every now and again? I swear it makes strange noise and flashes. You must be imagining things. A slot machine doesn't take pictures of people. <laughs> oh, I'm happy with how the machine turned out. As am I. And barely a hitch with my own prototype. It's done. Finally. Hundreds of years of refining and planning. And you did marvelously. vault would be so proud. I did everything you asked. Can I go back to the power cycle? I really need to. My, what gusto. I'm glad you like the cycle so much, Clem. With my life's work done, I think I will deliver our schematics to other vaults to improve their lives. Hmm. Well then, it's been a privilege working with you. I promised myself I wouldn't cry. This is a big moment for me. I pass the mantle on to you. Guide Vault 88. To greatness. You're the overseer now. Excellent. Legend of Vault 88. Awesome. Well. Valerie Barstow, you have yourself a fine trip. Please. Take care of the vault. Oh, I will. With all your experiments? Yep. I hope I did good. Please. They were real Take care of the vault. If well, I'm so, glad you like it. I'd love it if you'd let me cycle, you know? Some more? That power cycle is just the best! I could pedal on it for hours and hours! Alright, well, that's good to hear. How are you doing, Clem? Not everyone's so keen on being here. But, you know me, just happy to have a job and a place to sleep. Besides, you'll take care of us, right? Absolutely. Thank you for all your help. You kidding? It's been an honor to do, well, anything for you. I guess you're the overseer now, right? Looking forward to giving the vault my best. Thank you, Clem. And thank you, everyone, for watching. If you like this series, please remember to like, comment, and 
YouTube's telling me that lately, only like 30% of the people who are watching are subscribed, so please subscribe, it really does help my channel out, and that way you don't miss the next one of these that come out. Also, check out the links down below, that's where I have all my really good stuff, including my Patreon, but more importantly, my Discord server, where you get your own hello hello. And with that being said, thank you all for joining me, and I shall see you all next time. Bye.